So today's video is gonna be doing some makeup decluttering and I'm just gonna get started with primers, foundations, and powders. I also put in um, some of my setting sprays into this same category. I'm just gonna separate what I'm gonna keep over here and what I'm gonna get rid of on this side. Just to start off with foundations, I only have two this IT Cosmetics CC Cream and this L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. To be honest, I don't wear foundation that often. I think I'm just going to keep this IT CC Plus Cream and get rid of the L'Oreal. And for setting sprays, I'm probably going to keep most of these, like my Fix Plus. I've used this a lot. And the best spray, I think, for making your makeup last is this Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I've got this Smashbox Primer Water, which is nearly empty. There's really no reason for me to keep this. This Cover FX setting spray, I do like this because it is a little different. It does have like a shimmer to it. And then I've got one more spray, which is this herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist. Not really a setting spray. I put this on kind of before makeup to prep the face, kind of as a skincare. For powders, I have four here. For primers, I have two primers that you would call like pore filling primers, the Maybelline Baby Skin and the Benefit Professional. These really do the same thing, except the Maybelline Baby Skin. If I use this a couple days in a row, I start to break out a little bit. So I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the baby skin. Next section is going to be concealer and some brow products. The Tarte Shape Tape is what I use on an everyday basis, so I'm going to keep that one. I have this Maybelline Better Skin Concealer that I use occasionally if I'm looking for less coverage. I've actually used a lot of this up. This is probably at least halfway gone, so I'm probably gonna keep that one as well. And then I have this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. This is way too light for me and sometimes I try to make it work by like layering it. I am gonna get rid of it. Then I have this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've used a decent amount of this. I think I'm gonna keep it, although I find it a little drying. I have this Pot Concealer, um, Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer from NYX. I don't know why I always think that I have to have a pot concealer in my collection because I never reach for this. I only have one eye primer. This is what I use, so I'm gonna keep that. And then for brows, I have two boy brows. This one I'm almost finished up with, so I have a backup. So I'm gonna keep both of those. And then the brow powder that I use every day is this MAC Single Eyeshadow. So I'm gonna keep that. And then I do have one brow pencil, which I think I'm gonna keep as well. It has a nice spoolie on the end. Now I have my blushes and bronzers. I'm probably gonna keep all four of my bronzers. I may as well just get that right out of the way.
so I have all of these highlighters and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of any of these. They're all so different in my mind. I know I'm gonna keep this Glossier Dew Effect Highlighter. Oh, the Halo Scope in the shade Quartz. It really gives you like a dewy look to your skin rather than a shimmer. I really enjoy it. Then I have these Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter Drops. I haven't used it that much, so I think I'm gonna keep it just to play around with it. This ColourPop highlighter in the shade Lunch Money. The ColourPop highlighters are really unique. The texture is nice. This hard candy one, which as you can see, the lid is broken. It is annoying that it's broken, but I'm not gonna throw it away just because it's broken. This is my Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. And as you can see, it's shattered, but I kind of just squashed it back together in the pan and I still use it, so. Oh, you know what? That opal is really similar to the hard candy one. So I think I am going to get rid of the hard candy one and keep opal. And then I also have Becca in the shade Moonstone, which is a lot lighter. Then I have the MAC Lightscapade mineralized skin finish. This one is really light and it has kind of swirls of blue in it. I do think this is a really unique, very light, kind of more subtle highlighter. And then I have the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla and also the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I think these are very similar in finish because they both give you like a very natural look. I use both of these a lot. This Anastasia highlighter, it's in the Riviera shade, this illuminator. Honestly, this is almost a touch too dark for me to wear on my cheeks, but as an eyeshadow, it's beautiful. I really like it though, so I am gonna keep it. And now I have all of my eyeshadows. I've got really four main palettes, and I know I'm gonna keep all of these. So now I have some pencil liners, cream gel liners, and mascaras. So for mascaras, first I have the main mascara that I'm using currently, which is the Glossier Mascara. I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I have pretty much used this up. It's basically dried out at this point. It's time for this one to go. Then I have a sample size of the IT Cosmetics Super Year Mascara, which I haven't opened yet. So I'm gonna keep that one. For these three, I don't know why I think I need this many lip balms, but hopefully I can get rid of a couple. I do use lip balm often. It's one of the few products that I actually go through. Yeah, 
And now I have part one of my lip products. And in the first drawer, I keep nudes and like light pinks. And then in the second drawer, I have some more colorful products. And now I have my more colorful lip colors. This drawer does not have nearly as much in it since obviously I don't wear these as much. That's why it's gonna be harder to get rid of them. These are all pretty unique shades. So this is all the makeup I'm getting rid of.